Are you ready, Cody? Yeah, So uh, just like Dan, I also know what I look like, um, and it's the opposite of what he looks like, all right? I'm aware of that. No one has to be afraid. You are not in any danger, I promise. <laughs> I take that back. Michelle is here, so watch out. Uh, my name's Cody. Uh, I am diagnosed with schizophrenia as well. Is that the fourth or fifth now? I'm losing track. There's a lot of us in the building tonight. Um, I'm also a recovered addict and a reformed convict. Once again, I know what I look like. Uh, I know what you're thinking when I say all that. You're thinking, hey, Cody, save some problems for the rest of us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really appreciate everyone coming out because I was really excited to come to New York. I mean, being a schizophrenic in New York, it's like being an alien brought back to the mothership. I feel very at home here. I mean, two of you guys, two of the performers tonight were from New York, so I was like, man, I just feel accepted here. <laughs> Getting on the subway, I'm like, this feels right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, shockingly, uh, believe it or not, uh, getting a job is really hard with schizophrenia and being a felon. And so I decided uh, getting neck and finger tattoos would be the best course of action. <laughs> I'm a TikToker now, so. Um, and just like a TikToker, I'm going to be bearable for about 15 seconds, and then you're going to move on. So, uh, Before I like get into some of my other jokes, I want to just say, don't be the schizophrenic savior tonight. Uh, don't be offended on behalf of us. I get a lot of people who ask when I uh, make jokes, they're like, can I laugh at this? Um, if you don't laugh, I'm actually going to assume you're ableist. So, <laughs> Or a hallucination. There you go. Yeah. Uh, New York has been crazy. I've been here for three days. What are you all doing here? It is insane out there. Okay, so one of the things that I do is like when I am having hallucinations, I try to look for situations that seem out of place um, to identify like, hey, that's probably not happening. I'm going to tell you guys three things that happened that I observed in the three days I've been here, and I want you to figure out which one was not something that actually happened. Okay, so... I saw a man dressed as Spider-Man throwing the contents of his sandwich at Subway, not the sandwich shop, the train, <laughs> at another person. Um, I saw two women dance battling to the, and I'm not joking here, SpongeBob SquarePants theme song, <laughs> not dubbed, nothing, like nothing, just the straight up the theme song. <laughs> And then I saw a drunk man drinking a Four loco. I didn't even know they made those anymore. Um, drinking a Four loco, yelling at a Starbucks advertisement. And his exact words that he said when I was walking by were, I'm not afraid of a grande. I've fought a venti before. <laughs> Sir, what the fuck did you just say to me? Um, so, OK, guess. Wh which one do you think didn't happen? All true. Yeah, every single one of those in three days, New York. Get your shit together, guys. Come on. Where are you from? I'm from Wisconsin, so let's not bag on me for that. That's a cheap shot, first of all. That's a cheap shot. Uh, <laughs> So I get a lot of weird questions because I have over uh, 1.2 million followers on TikTok. Flex. Thank you. I am the schizophrenic hippie. Um, and I get a lot of weird questions, very personal questions. Uh, people ask me if I've ever had hallucinations during sex, like really strange questions. But one of the, the ones that just confused me when I got it was um, a lot of people who are into like the... Uh, 
the stones and the, the moons and everything, uh, they asked, do I have more symptoms when there's a full moon? And I had to clarify, I'm not a werewolf, I'm schizophrenic. So I don't know where the correlation got mixed up there, but they are not the same thing. Um, I thought of some names. I, I figured once this airs, Comedy Central is going to reach out to me for uh, an hour special, right? It's going to happen. So, uh, so I thought of some names for when that happens. Um, I, and I wrote them down for you guys. Um, the first one is going to be straight out of the psych ward, yeah. right? We're going to call it the Grippy Sock Special. Yeah. 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 We're going to call it uh, Making My Hallucinations Laugh. <laughs> At least someone will then. I have another name called Hecklers and Hallucinations because that's the only people who come to my shows. <laughs> and then my favorite, and this is the one I think will be a good advertisement, like it's called Empty Venue Sold Out Show. There we go. I did all of that joke for that last line. That's it. I just created a bunch of other ones to go with it. I apologize. So I uh, went into my psychiatrist's office recently, and she was asking me about how I'm doing mentally. And it's, it's really difficult because I'm, I'm always a little unstable. I'm always switching medication. And she said, in this moment, how do you feel like you're doing? Well, I'm a felon. I've been to jail. I've also been to plenty of psychiatric stays. And she asked me this question, and I looked down at my feet, and I am wearing grippy socks with my prison Crocs. And I look down, and I look back up, and I'm like, this pretty much says it right here. This whole situation I got going on explains my life in this moment. I have a pitch for a TV show. I want to do a Ghost Hunters TV show with me in it, because at least then someone will actually be hearing something instead of being like, did you guys hear that? And I'll be like, yeah, actually I did. He said, get the fuck out of here. I have a crazy story about a friend who he told me he wanted to like time travel. Obviously, we always have conversations. Oh, where would you go if you could time travel? And he asked me, he said, Cody, if you could time travel anywhere, what time would you go to? Sir, I am schizophrenic, and I don't know if you've studied history, but schizophrenic people um, statistically and throughout history have not been very well dealt with, um, whether they were witch hunted or uh, shocked or whatever. Um, and then I was like, why are you asking me this? You're black and gay. You should not time travel. Do not go back. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> Jim is not okay with that joke, by the way. <laughs> um, what? Jim. He's my gay black friend. <laughs> um, I have an issue where, um, I don't know if you've ever been in an argument with someone, a, a friend, a spouse, a loved one, and they walk away. Frustrating, right? Incredibly frustrating. No one except for schizophrenic people can understand what it's like to be arguing with someone and they disappear. <laughs> I had more to say, sir. I can't even chase him down. He's gone. Uh, ridiculous. Unacceptable. And just like one of my hallucinations, I'm heading out. See you guys. <laughs>